Alexander Jacobs, die in Amerika aan de Haverford College is afgestudeerd, heeft vandaag een exemplaar van de thesis overhandigd aan de Federatie voor Afrikaans Ranamang. Het onderwerp van dit zijn thesis is de Maron-oorlogen die tot het vredestraktaat met de Samakastam in Suriname hebben geleid. Jacobs heeft hiermee de graad van Bachelor in History behaald. Zijn onderzoek loopt tot het vredestraktaat van 19 september 1762, wat wij heren ten dagen vieren als Samakadaka. Met zijn thesis wilde hij bewijzen dat het verzet van de Samakastam tegen het kolonialisme sterk was. In particular, because I come from the United States, um, the story of Suriname is not known uh, to many people in the, in the United States. And I think it's a very important history, starting with the Treaty of Breda in 1667. Uh, we all know that um, there was this exchange for Manhattan and Suriname, and so Suriname is very important to the United States. And then later, it was Surinamese sugar, Surinamese coffee that was brought to the United States, and yet that history is not known in America. And because I have Surinamese roots through my family, I wanted to bring that history to other Americans. And in particular, I think the most important part of that history is the history of resistance to slavery, um, which uh, the Saramaka people uh, are so emblematic of. Uh, so in my thesis, what I looked at was um, these wars uh, leading up to the, the Treaty of 1762, um, where uh, the Saramaka people had won a victory that is really unparalleled in the resistance against slavery, uh, in that the colonizers acknowledged uh, that the Saramaka were basically an independent people. Jacobs wil dat er meer aandacht wordt besteed aan het slavernijverleden en het verzet daartegen. Hij is ook voorstander van herstelbetalingen, maar alleen als de nazaten van de tot slaafgemaakten en de maronstammen kunnen meebepalen hoe het geld gebruikt moet worden. Because uh, for too long these colonizers in other countries think they know what's best, even after slavery, even after colonialism. So I think it is important that if a fund is made, that it is uh, Maroon people, it is formerly enslaved people, it is people of Suriname who get to say how that money is spent for their use. Um, more generally, I think it is um, important for every, everyone who profited off the slave trade to acknowledge their role. Um, slavery was not just about slave masters and overseers on the plantation. Slavery was about banks in Amsterdam, it was, uh, it was the streets of Boston and Massachusetts, all of these places where we don't traditionally think slavery was happening, people were profiting from the trade. So I think it's important to understand the international reaches of the slave trade and, uh, and the, uh, the way that people continue to profit from it. Jacobs doet nu een studie in medicijnen. Gedurende deze studie wil hij ook meer leren over de medicinale planten van de Samaka. Als Amerikaan met Surinaamse roots wil hij na zijn studie herinvesteren in de Surinaamse gemeenschap. Hij gelooft dat hij dat kan door medische zorg te bieden aan zij die moeilijk toegang daartoe hebben. 